for the close call. Are you okay? Huh? Hi, Leia. I'm home now. What the... Jude? Huh? Jude? What are you doing here? I'm home. And what are you doing here? W well I was just... These kids wanted to have a race, you see, and well, um... And this little guy here is a real speed demon, so I had him push me in the wheelchair to keep things fair. And let me guess, you just had to be the winner, huh? Oh yeah, never mind that, Jude. So tell me, who's your friend? I suppose that you know this girl. Uh, yeah. She's an old friend of mine. Uh, how do I explain this? Leia, meet Mila. Hello, Mila. <gasps> hey, what's wrong with her legs? Run and get the doctor. Stat, this woman needs help. Right. Roger. Are you heading home? I'll come with you. Here, use this. Jude, how's the big city treating you? Do you like the capital? Hmm? Who's this? Oh, you ready to see me now, Doctor? I'm sorry, everyone. We have an urgent case here. You'll have to come back in the afternoon. Everybody. We'll catch you later. Promise! <laughs> You've really gotten into the swing of things here, Alea. Huh, Best nurse in town. Also the only nurse in town. But hey, you know how it is. Bring her in. Thank you. Try not to worry. Your friend is in good hands. Have faith in your dad. You look like you've been through the ringer. Want to tell me about it? Yeah. Well, I don't even know where to start, Mom. How about at the beginning? Well, I guess it all began with my professor back in Fenmont. Doctor! Doctor! Yes, what's wrong? My grandpa was working on the roof and he fell. He's out cold. Don't worry, I'll be right there. I need to leave for a bit. Hold down the fort, will you? Huh? But you just got here. I'm sorry. We'll have to catch up later. It's fine, Mom. Duty calls. like the little crybaby is all grown up now, huh? Crybaby? I hardly ever cried as a kid. <laughs> I was just trying to get a rise from you. You're no fun. Hmm. So serious. I guess the big city turned you into a bona fide adult. Dr. Mathis. Hey, Dad. Come with me. The patient is suffering from more than just leg injuries. Your journey has left her with a drastically weakened immune system. Why didn't you prescribe rest? <sighs> Answer me. Surely they taught you better than this in med school. I'm... 
I'm sorry. Have you informed her of the nature of her condition? I did. I told her you might be able to heal her. So you lied to her? What? It's the truth, isn't it? You've done it before. <sighs> Jude, Jude, Jude. You seem to think that using an Asperixis is a simple procedure. As routine as an appendectomy. In this case, it is impossible. But, Dad... Jude! The device attaches directly to the nerves and causes incredible agony. Few patients can bear it. Why exactly are you home, anyway? What happened to med school? Answer me, young man! So this is how you're gonna be? Jude! Thank you for the consultation. What got into him? <sighs> the procedure might be explained in the medical files. If Dad won't help me, I'll do it myself. Better check the archives. Looking for this? I knew you wouldn't give up just because your dad turned you away. Thanks, Leia. Wow. My old man really is a genius. They sure didn't teach us techniques like this at med school. Apparently, it requires a special stone. The kind of stone isn't written here, though. Yeah... Dad took detailed notes of the entire procedure. As long as we have the device, we should be able to heal Mila. But is Mila up for it? I heard the last patient to undergo the procedure cried uncle after eight seconds. He chose to remain paralyzed rather than endure the treatment. It's that painful, huh? You know, maybe you should just forget about this. What if your friend goes through all that torture for nothing? It's worth the risk. I'm going to do it. If you say so. Well, you should check the box up there. What's in it? The Asperixis! Yeah. I found it after I started helping here, when I was cleaning up. Let's go to Mila's room. I want to try this. Oh, uh, wait! I'm coming too! Huh? What are you doing? Shh! We can't let my dad hear us. Why not? We're gonna use the Asperixis on you now. But your father just told me it was impossible. Leia, give me a hand. Uh, uh sure. Here, you'll want to lay down on your side. Feel anything? Any pain? No, nothing at all. My leg still won't budge either. Why isn't it working? I don't sense any mana in this stone. Your father said that an Asperixis needs a spirit fossil, or it won't work. 
A spirit fossil? Those things really exist? Oh, so the special stone mentioned in the medical files is a spirit fossil. Your father also said the fossil has to be used immediately after it's uncovered, or it loses its mana. Great. As if the procedure wasn't already tricky enough. Hold on. I swear I remember that they used to find spirit fossils down in the Felgana mine. Are you serious? Whoa, jeez, be quiet. It's just something my dad told me. Mila, it sounds like we need to take you out for some field medicine. That seems like a lot of work. You'll do that for me? Here. Thank you. Jude, can you help her into the wheelchair? What about you? I have to get stuff ready. I'll meet you at the edge of town. Alright, I'm good to go! The mine's been closed for a while, so I hope you're ready for some spelunking! So what was Fenmont like? Come on, you have to tell me everything! Was it like super cosmopolitan? Were you able to make friends? I don't know. It was pretty normal. What, that's it? That's all you have to say? You're always boring everyone with long-winded explanations, but when I ask a question, I get the cold shoulder? Come on, you're blowing things out of proportion. Listen, you're gonna talk and you're gonna tell me everything. You have ten seconds. Ten, nine, eight... Well, there was a nurse at the school named Prin who was always really nice to me. But on the day I went to see my professor, I got attacked by a girl in red clothes. So then, I couldn't go back to the school anymore. Although that did result in me meeting Mila. Oh, and in terms of other friends, I met this girl named Elise. Fine, I got it! Message received loud and clear! You met all sorts of other girls while you were away. Good job, Jude! I'm so happy for you! I see you haven't changed a bit. Laronde is just like you said, Jude. A little boondocks town. <laughs> yeah, I guess it is. But Laronde is home to an awesome landmark. Oh? What is it? It's called the Laronde Lodge. It's a haven of rest and healing with delicious food and a family atmosphere. Is that any different from other lodges? It's actually just Leia's house. The family atmosphere part is true, though. Her mom will scold you if you don't clean your plate. And if you aren't out of bed for breakfast, she'll wake you. So I'm not so sure about the rest and healing part. Damn it, Jude! Not in front of potential customers! But it's all true, isn't it? The most remarkable thing about Laronde is that it somehow produces people like you two. Here we go. This must be the mine. So, from what I understand, spirit fossils are a very particular color. Oh, and they make sounds, too. Huh. Crazy. Strange. It's like the miners quit in the middle of their work. Do you know what happened? No. Maybe there was some kind of accident. They might have closed the mine because it was dangerous. That doesn't sound good. Come on, don't chicken out. We've come too far to quit now. You sure are fired up today. An adventure is waiting. Let's make the most of it. Ready to race? Whoever finds the most spirit fossils wins. <sighs> Just be careful, okay? I don't want to see you get hurt. Oh, Jude, you always know how to poop on my party. Besides, shouldn't you be more worried about Mila than me? Now, let's see. I guess it's too much to ask to find some lying around in plain sight. Mila, wait here. This has to be it. You find something, Jude? Whoa, what's that? No mistaking that color. Those are spirit fossils. But... there's...
they're so teensy weensy. Hey, I think I feel a slight breeze. I don't think this is a dead end. You two sit tight. I want to see where it goes. And let you beat me? Ha! Huh. Leia, come on. It's too dangerous. And that's why we should all go together. Yep. What's the point of bringing me along if you're just gonna go all lone wolf? Just watch your step, okay? Don't worry about it. I don't see spirit fossils anywhere. <sighs> Maybe it's time to call it a day? You shouldn't overdo it with your condition. What do you mean, my condition? I haven't been sick since I was a kid. That wasn't that long ago. Wow. Welcome back, Jude. Let the nagging begin. What's that supposed to mean? And here I thought that Fenmont had changed you. You should stop worrying so much. Leia, listen to me. This is serious. Denied. I can't hear you. Wow. You got really strong while you were away. And I see you're as merciless as ever with that staff. <laughs> Care for a little sparring bout? Oh, that's right. Jude mentioned that he had a friend he used to train with. That must have been you. Yep. It started out as part of Leia's physical therapy. That's right. My mom was the instructor, and she trained us good. I see. But I can't respect a bully. Huh? I hear you beat Jude until he was covered in bruises. <laughs> Look, I can explain. What are you telling other people? I can't believe you. Ah! Oh, sorry. Ah, now it all makes sense. <sighs> hey, you should probably head back. Uh, uh, hey, what exactly is a spirit fossil anyway? When a spirit loses its mana, it manifests in this world as a stone. In other words, you're saying the spirit dies? I've never really heard of something like that happening, though. Is that like a city thing? Not that I know of. Hmm. So does that mean a whole bunch of spirits died ages ago? Most of the spirits died before I was born. What do you mean? This can wait. We really should get moving. We really should get moving. Yeah. Whoa, hey, no need to get all angry on me. Wait, did you just hear something? Hear what? That, a ringing. Where is it coming from? There, it's a spirit fossil. Good ears, let's check it out. Huh? Where'd the fossil go? This is definitely the right spot. Did it move? Hey, over there. More spirit fossil fragments. The big one must be in there. Yeah, but rocks don't just get up and move by themselves. If you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. How's egg principle? Yes, I suppose so. You two stay here. This time I really am going in by myself. Keep an eye on Mila. Hey, hold on! Leah? <laughs> <laughs>